on who do you want to work together Maggie and Tim Maggie and Tim I think they'd work fantastically together that'd be really interesting or or um, Maggie and Peter <clears throat> because Peter's so kind of yeah that's true, Maggie and Peter. Calm next to Maggie. What are they going to do? I think Peter's going to do lots of shouting, and Maggie's going to just be still. Maggie could be kind of. And she'll combust. If my oh my word, okay, so Peter's gonna do a kind of lie, a, 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 a kind of really vocal uh, explanation mm. of his emotions at that point. In German Swiss, which, in Swiss, in Swiss, French, Swiss, Swiss French, yeah. in his that strange tongue. During which there is a projection behind him of Maggie in various upside down positions around the Blue Court building. Oh yeah. Like I was in mine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be amazing. Good. Next. Which two individuals would have the most interesting wrestling match? Me and Peter kind of had a wrestling match when we did bubble wrap. We got right. into that a little bit. Slightly wrestling. Who won? Obviously, I try, I'd say me. But that, that's subjective, isn't it? I'd like to see Keith and Mamoru dumb. wrestle. I think Mamoru would kick Keith out. Especially if he had the projector on his head. Yeah. <laughs> you would die. Mamoru's got Mamoru's got some him. moves up his sleeve. Okay, that was kind of easy. Dancing yesterday in the workshop. Oh yeah, I had a lovely time. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Huh? Just two tracks of loveliness, and then the Smiths came on, and it, I kind of got bored. But for two what? tracks, I for the what are you talking in the middle about? of the debate? Oh, in the debate. <laughs> I wasn't talking about <laughs> that, that. Was my favourite dancing moment in the debate. You got distracted by the shadows, I think. <laughs> With Mary Pearson. Mary Pearson. I think... Well, what are you talking about? I was talking about um, dancing um, during the workshop in the morning. Where... Oh, yeah, I wasn't in that. We just had this... The, the instruction was to push or pull. And I was working with Rachel, and we rolled down the floor. Nice. It was awesome. Fun times. But then there was also, after, because we started off talking gibberish, and then translate the gibberish into dance or movement, and had some wicked funny stuff of, of kind of, Keeping aware of how you socially you're you, you're used to interacting with someone or distance or you don't and and always questioning those interactions. Mm. It's great, provoked, head butting people's bottom. Nice. And, yeah. I feel like I missed out. I did miss out. 
Oh. I feel like I've discussed this enough. I haven't heard you discuss it at oh. all. I don't even know what your opinion is. It doesn't matter what my opinion is it does. anymore. I'm so done with audience and artist <coughs> relationship. What's your opinion, Jamie? Well, uh, yeah, I'm with you on the done bit, but <laughs> I kind of, like, as Britt was saying last night about somebody, I can't remember, saying something like, um, you artists, you don't need us, you don't need an audience, you don't, you should, you should be concerned about what we think. And I thought about that and went, no way. I think as soon as we become concerned about what an audience thinks, then everyone should just roll over. And then, and then after thinking that, I kind of went, but equally, if you, no, I, I think I'm sticking with that. I don't think there is another one. Mm actually but all this conversation stuff is pretty interesting I thought it was funny in the debate yesterday how how totally inarticulate everybody was <laughs> and how it was because <laughs> I read that statement and went oh yeah good statement and then couldn't articulate anything to couldn't be polemic. I thought that was really interesting. Like how used we are to, or how used I am to always seeing both sides and always kind of being in this grey area. Mm. Position yourself but it, either or. Yeah. Fear, fear of commitment to a... So Jeremy fears commitment. That's what we've learned from this. Okay, next. So, so we're doing role play, right? I think so. What do you want to be? Listen. If this relationship is going to work, I need you to tell me what it is that you want from me. I do tell you. But you don't listen, okay? Oh, that's right. It's always my fault, isn't it? Like you're not eyeing up every floozy that wanders past. I can see you doing it now. At least I always stop at just eyeing them up. Oh, that's right. Bring that up again. Why can't you leave the past alone? Yes. If you are any food. Oh. You call it an artwork. It's not. <laughs> no. 